So look how excited Frank is. We're going through this image and we're gonna break down how I created it very quickly, very simply. Now there is a free download in the link in the description. So if you want to download that, however, if you want to support the channel, just watch the video to the end as we break down the core aspects of this. So just having a look, this is what the raw file looks like. We've just got a solid plane here and then we've got some very tiny ships that I created and I'll show you how I did that very quickly. Up close, looks like rubbish. Back far, looks grouse. Now, the other thing as well is I created this with no paid add-ons. Everything is for free. So let's start off with JS Displace. We just go into the main screen. There'll be a link in the description if you want to use this as well. However, the textures that I used come within the blend file. So this is JS Displacement. Um, let's go into Classic. I'm just going to quickly create a displacement map and you can kind of see this is what we've used. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is bring up the brightness of the background up. So the white bits should be coming up and the black bits should be going down when we apply the displacement modifier. Um, this looks fine. All I'm gonna do is kind of save the height mate map. Um, let's just save it as that. From here, I'm just gonna crack open a brand new blend file. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode, uh, subdivide a few times. Let's come over into the modifiers, add modifier, displace, and then we're gonna create a new texture there. From here, I'm gonna click on this button all the way on the right hand side. And we're gonna come down into the texture setting, which looks familiar. Let's go open and let's go to where we downloaded it, which I think is in the downloads. And it's that one there. And we've got this ugliness. It's fine, it's okay, we'll work through that. Let's come back into the modifiers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a little bit more geometry. And so we're gonna go add modifiers, subdivision surface modifier, and I'm gonna plop that on top. Now I don't want the subsurface to be curved. So we're gonna change it from Catmull Clark to simple, okay? But you can still see that we're not getting the results that we're after. You can see that it's very stretched on either side. So if we come over into the displacement, change the direction, nope, change the coordinates to UV. And now you can kind of see that we've got that. The problem here is the UV unwrapping. So if we come over into UV editor, UV editing, we can see this is what the UV wrap looks like. If we kind of throw the image behind it, you can see that there's just not enough geometry. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna select everything, U, and then I'm just gonna go cubic projection, okay? So now it kind of covers a lot more space. Let's go back into layout. We've got this yuckiness mess of a hole. Let's go to strength. I'm just gonna go make it 0.1. And let's bump up our subsurf to about four. And you can kind of now see the building blocks of what we had. Um, I reckon I might just go at five. Why not? Let's live a little. There we go, look at that. Very quickly, you can see how this is all coming together. So this is kind of like how I made pretty much everything in this um, scene. So from here, what we can do is kind of the way I did it is I just got a plane and then kind of grabbed one edge, E to extrude Z1, um, whoops, go another one. So now we've got this kind of right angle triangle. I'm just gonna right click and we'll do a few subdivisions. Yeah, whatevs. With our kind of hull, I guess, selected, we can shift left click on our cube, drop down arrow, copy to selected. Um, and then once again, copy to selected. So now we've got this. However, you can see that it's a bit rough as guts up there. It's kind of straight. Now that's because we extruded and so the UV unwrap isn't there. So let's just kind of select everything. Whoops, let's just select this puppy. Right click, uh, we will do U, cubic projection. And then when we go tab, we've got this. That's, that is pretty suave, I would say. Let's go rotate X. And I'm just gonna, have, I'm kind of just going through this quickly just so you guys can kind of see. The next thing I did with this, I use the same principles for the ships as well. So if I just kind of go into a cube, let's just go like this, like that. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Just kind of fudging stuff up, uh, something like that. Let's join these two together. 
and then let's just put an edge loop in there, edge loop in here, and then we can subdivide all that. From here, I'm going to select both of them with the cube selected last. And then once again, I can copy to selected, copy to selected. And then this is what we got. This is kind of all that the ships look like. So if we go back into the other blend file, you can kind of see that's all it is. The other thing that I did though, is I added a sphere on the bottom, uh, on the back kind of to give it that glow. Now it's not very noticeable in the render, but this is kind of what I've done. Now this is, this is somewhat important because at the moment you can't control the materials, but Marco's got a workaround ish kinda. So I initially used spheres, but what you can do is just kind of use another cube. So for instance, if I grab this, um, let's just grab that shift D scale. Let's just go E to extrude. And then we go something like that. I'm going to plop it there. Sure. It's off kilter, but that's fine. We can see that we've got greebling attached to this, but I don't want that greebling to be there. So I can come up into the UV editing and with that little cube selected, I can just make it super tiny. So scale zero. And then you can see now it's kind of like one solid block, which is what we want. And then up here, we can go back into layout. I can come in and create two new materials, new. Um, let's go change this from principal shader to emission and we can give it to a nice orange glow. Tab into edit mode and we've got to make sure we hit the assign button. Now the standard material that I created, so this is going to be our metal material. So let's just give it a quick name, Meta. From here, all I did was is add in a noise texture because you have to remember this is going to be far away. Um, from here, I will put it into a color ramp like so into the factor, into the color. Um, I will turn on the node preview add on, um, just cause it kind of helps me visualize what I'm doing. So node preview. All right. This is a paid add on. I'm just using it just to show you off. But if you want to pick it up, there is a link in the description. Um, kind of bringing that down into there. And what I'm going to do is not have black and white. I'm actually going to have gray and then a lighter gray, something like that. So that's all that the ship is. Um, let's go control T and rather than having generated, I might go off the UV. Let's have a look at what that looks like. And so that is pretty much my ship. We put it down really small. If we come into the render settings, we can see that we've got this little ship that's off into the distance. Very simple. That's how I created it. Now we've got this lighting. Let's have a look at the lighting. Let's come to layout and we would change this to a sun. I'm just going to go into rendered. Now I did render this in cycles, which come to think of it, I didn't need to because the displacement modifiers there, you idiot. <sighs> anyway, just going to do it in cycles for now. You can see that it's super blown out. I do make the sun lamp about five. Um, let's throw this material on, which is our meta material specularity, bring that down the roughness up. Okay. And so this is how we kind of got that really harsh lighting on there. However, I did do something a little bit different with this material. If we come back into the shading, um, I'm going to clear that and I'm just going to create a new material and I'm going to go into an image texture. All I'm going to do is actually open up that, um, JS displacement that we already have plug that into the color from here. I'm going to throw that into the color ramp like so and shift T control T. Sorry. If you've got node wrangler on just to make sure that we're using the UV. However, so we got white and black. That's kind of cool. I'm going to actually change this to constant and we'll bring this back, bring this up. Um, I don't want it black. I kind of want it to be maybe a gray color. Um, but you can see that the con contrasting colors are sticking out. But here, what I can do is I can add different colors now. So I can press the plus sign and select this middle one down the bottom here. And I'm going to change this to maybe a yellow. And now you can actually see that we're getting different colors automatically painted onto it. 
Now I'm going to grab this gray. I'm going to put another plus in there. Uh, let's put another plus. And here is where I came in and put my blue. And so, because we're only going for a very small spectrum of color, because you have to go, remember that it goes from white all the way down to black. And we're just trying to get that little bit there in the middle. Um, because obviously if I were to go kind of like make it big, we get a lot of blue or a little bit of blue. But if I do it here, uh, not in this one's very prevalent, but what will happen is everywhere there's yellow around it will be blue. And so I kind of don't really want that. So that's why I've put that gray tone in between the blue and yellow, if that makes sense. Hopefully, let me know, comment. Now, the next thing as well is the lighting. So we've got our sunlight, but we've kind of got this shadow that goes across. I don't want that shadow. I want that kind of like nice, harsh line. So from here, I go into the lighting tool and change the angle to like 0.1. And now you can see that we've got that harsh sci-fi. This is the light straight across. Um, and then that's pretty much how I create it. Now I've done videos before on how I create the background, um, but let's kind of do that really quickly as well. If you guys are interested, there is a, uh, the video probably is the same thing in here, but to create the, the background, we go into object, we change into worlds. I'm currently in the shading tab. From here, I'm gonna add in a noise texture and the scale is gonna be about five, 500, 5,000 is a bit too much. Let's go Shift A, search to add in a color ramp, and then we're gonna put our factor into there, our color into here, and you can see that we've got this noise all the way on the outside. However, I'm gonna bring that in, bring this one in. Too many stars, still too many stars. And there we go. That's kind of the basis of how we got to this place. Now, I did do a little bit of composition. Um, not a lot, but it was enough. It was just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, I don't really use the compositor too much, but that's another skill that I'm actually trying to learn. Uh, so I'm just gonna press F12 quickly and let's just render it out. And obviously you can see that it's still got that painted. I mean, you can do more to the materials the other thing you can do as well is using the node wrangler, we can actually offset the UV so that, you know, this piece isn't just blue, it's not just yellow, but it's kind of half painted on, so on and so forth. So there's always that kind of option as well. So now that we've got a rendered image, let's come to compositing. Let's go into nodes. Uh, probably the only really big thing was I put in a color balance so let's just go shift a add in a viewer node and i'm going to dump that one in there and then let's go into a color balance spelt like an american and then i kind of with the low i put in blue highs are a little bit blue and then i put yellows on the mid so we've kind of got this effect however you want to say it so let's go F12, let's do another render and we'll leave it as is. Um, like I've said, the blend file is available for download so you can actually go through it a little bit more. There is one little other thing that I did in there but that'll be on a separate tutorial on Wednesday so if you haven't hit the subscribe button to see what that is all about. Is that it Frank, anything else? Frank's happy, I'm happy, are you happy?